I am uh, <coughs> Walter Rocca and I am professor of epidemiology and neurology at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota in the United States. Today I would like to present our paper which is entitled Accelerated Accumulation of Multimorbidity After Bilateral Ophorectomy, a population-based cohort study. This paper will appear in the Mayo Clinic proceedings. We followed for approximately 14 years 1,653 women who underwent bilateral ophorectomy in our community and an equal group of women who did not undergo bilateral ophorectomy. And we studied the development of 18 selected chronic conditions in these two cohorts. Mm -hmm. Women who underwent bilateral ophorectomy experienced an increased incidence of several of the 18 chronic conditions when we consider them one at a time, and they also experienced an accelerated rate of accumulation of the 18 chronic conditions when we consider them together and as compared to the referent women. In particular, the women who underwent um, bilateral ophorectomy before the age of 46 year, which is of course a relatively young age, to encounter a, a surgical induced menopause, they experienced an increased risk of all of the 18 chronic conditions, with the exception of cancer, and the increased risk uh, was reaching statistical significance for 8 of the 18 conditions. In particular, depression, hyperlipidemia, cardiac arrhythmias, coronary artery disease, arthritis, asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and osteoporosis. Some of these associations were reduced in women who received estrogen therapy after the ophorectomy. Estrogen seems to regulate the aging processes in women, and the premature loss of estrogen may cause accelerated aging at the cellular and tissue level and accelerated accumulation of multimorbidity at the clinical level. Supplemental figure 2 in the paper provides a very nice summary <coughs> of our overall mechanistic hypothesis. The idea is that bilateral ophorectomy causes premature estrogen deprivation along with other endocrine effects and the estrogen deprivation seems to be the most important responsible factor to cause acceleration of the aging process at the genetic, cellular, tissue, and system level, up to a point when the signs and symptoms start to appear. Thus, the underlying accelerated aging process manifests clinically as an accelerated accumulation of multimorbidity. The accelerated accumulation of multimorbidity, ultimately, lead to adverse health outcomes and to premature death. The study should give the final coup de grace to the debate on the argument for or against bilateral ophorectomy for the prevention of ovarian cancer in the majority of women. Bilateral ophorectomy should no longer be considered an ethically acceptable option. The recommendation is simple and clear. In the absence of a documented high-risk genetic variant, bilateral ophorectomy before the age of 50 years or before menopause is never to be considered and should not be offered as an option to women. At the same time, we do not offer to women to remove their thyroid gland to prevent thyroid cancer and we do not offer to men to remove their testicle to prevent testicular cancer. A woman who needs to undergo hysterectomy because of uterine diseases or symptoms should not be offered the concurrent removal of the ovaries unless she carries a genetic variant that put her at an unusually high risk of ovarian cancer. The most important genetic variants are BRCA1 and BRCA2. Our study is a first step toward understanding the complex effects of bilateral ophorectomy 
on multimorbidity and aging in women. However, many questions remain unanswered. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.